I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. Not one, but two fires ripped through multifamily condominiums in Curious Joel Wednesday, leaving at least 50 people homeless and leaving investigators with the job of trying to pinpoint how the fires got started. The worst of the pair, a five alarm blaze, broke out inside a three story, six family building on Premishlin Way where a fireman battled not only smoke and flames, but the intense cold that created dangerous icing conditions for firefighters. The second, a much less serious fire, damaged the residents on Mountain Road. Preliminary word from the scene was that electrical problems were the cause of both fires, uh, with a fire on Premishlin Way reportedly starting in the walls. More than 75 firemen from seven area uh, companies were called to the scene. There were no injuries reported at either location. In this extreme cold, problems with a hydrant could uh, present huge problems in case of fire. That's why Middletown Public Works crews were making the rounds today, pouring antifreeze into city fire hydrants to make sure the water will be flowing in case it is needed. And the bitterly cold temperatures will be with us a while longer. Tonight will be another night of below zero wind chills and the cold snap is expected to carry through much of the weekend and hopefully uh, no fire hydrants will have to be put into service. Elsewhere, a bad accident in the town of Goshen Tuesday night claimed the life of a Middletown man. It happened shortly after 8 p.m. when a car veered off Scotchtown Road, flipped over several times and slammed into a tree. The driver, 19-year-old Michael Ramos, was extricated from the wreckage but was pronounced dead after being rushed to Orange Regional Medical Center. Goshen police uh, don't believe Ramos was wearing a seat belt. Two Sullivan County residents were being held in county jail where they face burglary, grand larceny, and weapons possession charges following a house break-in in the town of Liberty earlier this month. 26-year-old Christopher Rubio of Swan Lake and 28-year-old Tara Bagata of Liberty are accused of stealing five loaded handguns from the residents. Police did not release information about whether those guns had been recovered. A Milford, Pennsylvania woman has pleaded guilty to health care fraud for stealing more than $10,000 through her home-based business. When uh, she is sentenced in April, 59-year-old Patricia DiLorenzo, an addiction counselor, could get up to 10 years in prison. DiLorenzo used a variety of fraudulent schemes to bilk insurance provider Blue Cross of Northeastern Pennsylvania through her business, uh, the Serenity Drug and Alcohol Outpatient Facility. Their goal is to get uh, Liberty residents to express their hopes and wishes for their community. Okay. Yeah, so this is a, uh, the uh, Green Door Community uh, Interactive Art Project. And we wanted um, a place where people, local residents of Liberty, could come and express what they want to see in the community. Um, so Akira and Ellie Ohisho uh, decided uh, to do something with the blank sheets of plywood that covered the entrance to the former Liberty Theater and connected storefronts along Liberty's Main Street. The couple publish a Green Door magazine, a journal that promotes the region, and they decided to paint the plywood with the words, I would like to see this storefront become, and then invite residents to add their ideas in writing. Their idea quickly uh, took hold, it was based on artist Candy Chang's Before I Die series where people express feelings and goals in public spaces. The owner of the Liberty property has plans to renovate the South Main Street site and convert it into a performing arts space and retail stores. And it may have been too cold for you to venture outdoors today, but uh, not for Regal the Beagle and his owner, Mike Medris of the town of Wallkill. They could be found this morning at the Orange County Dog Park in Hamptonburg, and they had the whole place to themselves, probably because of the less than uh, comfortable temperatures. Brought the Regal, the Beagle out here to uh, run in the dog park, hoping some other dogs would show up. The regulars usually show up and to get some exercise. It's never really too cold to get out here. I've seen a lot colder. I've been a lot colder than this. You just layer up and bundle up and hat on the head and usually you're good for a half hour, 45 minutes. Mike says these days he much prefers daytime runs with Regal. And unfortunately for Mike and all you dog owners, we are headed towards another night of Arctic weather. 
We could be dealing with more than just the frigid temperatures and wind chills by Friday evening. After another night of uh, temperatures at or near the zero degree mark, Friday will be cloudy with light snow expected to move in by later in the day. And that coupled with the extremely low temperatures could make roads slippery. Temperatures won't go much higher than uh, 20 degrees on Friday. As for Saturday, it'll be uh, mostly cloudy with some scattered flurries. The highs only around 25 degrees. We well, keep clicking back here at Record Online for the latest news and weather information and get caught up on all that is happening by reading tomorrow's edition of the Times Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.